And now back to Bobby Likas Car Clinic and your host, Bobby Likas. And welcome back to Bobby Likas Car Clinic. Great program today. Call with your questions at 888 Car Clinic. On the hotline, as promised with us now, is Shad Balch, Western Region Communications for Chevrolet. And folks, with summer temps heating up, more kids are playing outside, in driveways, and around vehicles. According to the U.S. Department of Transportation, on average, more than 200 fatalities and 15,000 people are injured in backover crashes. And estimates show nearly half of these incidents occur in residential areas and a quarter occur in driveways. And to that end, that's the information that Shad is going to share with us. Something's always up with General Motors. Shad, welcome back to Bobby Likas Car Clinic. Glad to have you in the house. Bobby, thank you for having me. It's good to be back. I'd like for you to share with our car clinic listeners and viewers what Chevrolet is doing to give drivers a new tool to look around their vehicles as they back up. Certainly. So Chevrolet has come up with what they're calling a surround vision technology. And basically what it does is it gives the driver a bird's eye view of the car, their vehicle, and everything around them when they go to put the car in reverse. There are four cameras located in the front, the back, and on both sides of the car. So when you put the car in reverse, you get to see a full bird's eye view picture of everything around you. And the whole idea is that you'll, you can see if there are things behind you or things on the side that you would not otherwise be able to see just by looking in your rearview mirror. So it's a safety feature designed to prevent backover crashes. Well, I can say I have actually driven an automobile that had this feature, and it would not surprise me that sooner than later this would be mandatory. So hats off to, to Chevrolet for bringing it out. I know a lot of parents uh, and listeners of Car Clinic and, and our viewing audience that watch Bobby Live are really eager to hear more. What tips do you have for them and, and for all drivers when it comes to backing up? Well, paying attention to your surroundings is, is it's paramount. I mean, that's the most important thing that you can do. Oftentimes, when you hop in a car and you're getting ready to go someplace, you throw the car in reverse and off you go. And especially in some of the crossovers and, and bigger vehicles these days, it's just much more difficult to see some of those hard-to-spot spots. So what this camera does is it basically puts all the information that you need, whether it be on the side, in front, or behind you, right in the center so that you can take a quick glance and, and make sure that your, your driveway is clear to avoid the back of crashes. And you're right, this is probably something that's going to be mandated by the government, but it's a problem now, which is why Chevrolet is, is making this available to uh, drivers of the new 2018 Equinox now, ahead of the regulation. So it, will the Equinox be the only GM car that will currently have this, and is it an option? No, it's, uh, it's also available in the Chevy Bolt EV, and it will be available in the new Chevy Traverse that comes out later this year. And with most of these technologies, you know, it'll probably roll out and appear in more products going forward. It is an option in the, in the 2018 Equinox. It comes on the, the Premier trim level, uh, but it is, it is something that um, a version of it, a rear backup camera, does come standard now on even the base model Equinox. So that would just be a camera the way when you put the car in reverse, you can see what's going on behind you. But the bird's eye view, that comes with the Premier Edition. Well, that I can't wait to, to test drive an automobile. And, you know, Shad, years ago, and it's probably some 20 years or so or, or even longer now, that ABS came out, and, uh, and then following ABS, we had traction control, stability control. And so as uh, consumers and, and car buyers start to think about autonomous cars, I know that GM has 130 of those be un, under test now, uh, we, we say, well, we've just invented everything that we can possibly invent, invent and maybe this is in the future, but certainly with this part and this particular option that's going to be on the Equinox, uh, the future is right here, and we can enjoy the safety. And for all of our listeners out there, uh, it, it, when you back up, there's no possible way that you can know without getting out of your car first, and then even then, it, it could be in a danger. So, Chad, I, I think it's a fantastic idea, and it's called Surround Vision. Is that a GM uh, name? Yeah, I mean, it, it, it's basically it's a very intuitive name so that people understand what it is when it. they see that on the window sticker. So, you know, it's, pre it's pretty self-explanatory is why we use that term. 
Well, I, I can't wait to drive one that has it. Uh, we've uh, been talking with Chad Balch, Western Region Communications for Chevrolet. And, and again, give us one final overview of this device and the car that it's on, and then a website, Chad, if you would, so that our car clinic listeners and viewers can see more for themselves. Certainly. So we're talking about the surround vision technology that's available on the 2018 Chevy Equinox that basically provides a complete picture around your vehicle when you put it in reverse so that you don't accidentally back up over something behind you. It also helps when you parallel park, too, because you can see how close that curb is on your right-hand side. Uh, For more information, you can visit www.chevrolet.com and just look for surround vision. That's perfect. Shad Balch, Western Region Communications for Chevrolet. Shad, thanks for joining us again today on Bobby Likas Car Clinic. Bobby, thank you very much for having me.